A Meridian man has been working to bring a vintage airplane back to life, and now it's nearly finished. The plane is on display at Lakeview Park in Nampa, and before up, up until now, it hasn't been touched up in more than a decade. KTV's Natalie Shaver joins us now. Now, this is more than just a restoration project. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is, Alex. So it's a volunteer project. The man behind this project is Kyle Ruby, and he wanted to find a way to honor veterans. So he decided the best way to do that was using his passion, which is restoring vintage airplanes. Restoring vintage planes is Kyle Ruby's passion. It's been a real privilege and I've loved every minute of each one of them. At 21 years old, he's already spent time traveling the western part of the country to work on different restoration projects. I went down to Arizona and we did three Air Force One jets, two of which uh, were Kennedys, and then one smaller one that was the more of a VIP in the vice president plane. And now he's taking what he's learned from those experiences to lead his own restoration project right here at home. His pick, the F-89B airplane in Lakeview Park in Nampa. It's been sitting here deteriorating. It hasn't really been recognized as much as it should be. So Kyle got started on the project planning. The first step really was to get the permission of the U.S. Air Force Air Museum. They actually own the plane still. It's actually still in the U.S. Air Force's inventory. So we had to go through permission with them first and make sure they were okay with us being up and working on the plane and painting it correctly to its original markings. With the go-ahead and help from volunteers from across the state, Kyle's project kicked off. They've done everything from sanding off old paint and putting on a new coat of paint to replacing the emblems, restoring the plane as close to the original design as possible. It's really a memorial for everybody in the Idaho military and everybody who served for our country. I really want people to be able to see it and recognize that. He's treating it as a volunteer project. It's not costing the city a penny. It's all because Kyle wanted to use his passion and skills to honor veterans. I love uh, being able to recognize our veterans and be sure to have a proper memorial for them so we can remember everything that they've done for us and everybody that's served in the Air Guard and everything like that. It's great to really be able to truly give those guys the respect that they deserve. This project was completely funded through donations and sponsorships from local businesses. Alex, the goal was to initially have it done today, but because of weather, they weren't able to, so they're hoping to finish it next weekend. Sure, all right. Well, thanks so much, Natalie. Really cool project he's working on.